Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice system 1 over x plus 1 over y is equal to 5 and 1 over x squared plus 1 over y squared is equal to 17. Our job is to find all possible values of x and y. So let's start. First we suppose that let a is equal to 1 over x b is equal to b is equal to 1 over y. So this uh, first equation will become a plus b is equal to 5 and this uh, second equation will become a squared plus b squared is equal to 17. Let's call this equation equation number 1 and this equation equation number 2. Now by using this uh, algebraic identity a minus b whole squared is equal to a squared plus uh, b squared minus 2ab. Now in the right hand side of this identity we add and subtract a squared and b squared like this a minus b whole squared is equal to a squared plus b squared minus 2ab. Here we add a squared and we subtract a squared and we add b squared and we subtract b squared. Next a minus b whole squared is equal to this a squared plus this a squared will become 2a squared and this b squared plus uh, this b squared will become plus uh, 2b squared. We rearrange these terms uh, negative a squared, negative b squared and negative 2ab. Negative a squared minus b squared minus 2ab. Next a minus b whole squared is equal to 2a squared plus 2b squared. From these three terms uh, we factor out negative sign. This will become negative and in bracket left uh, positive a squared plus uh, b squared plus uh, 2ab. Next, a minus b whole squared is equal to, from these two terms uh, we can factor out 2. In bracket left, a squared plus b squared minus this a squared plus b squared plus 2ab will become a plus b whole squared. Now we replace this a plus b with this value 5 from equation 1 and we replace this a squared plus b squared with this value 17 from equation number 2. So this will become a minus b whole squared is equal to 2 times 17 minus 5 squared. Further simplify this will become a minus b whole squared is equal to 2 times 17 will become 34 minus 5 squared is 25. Next a minus b whole squared is equal to 34 minus 25 will become 9. Move this 9 to the left hand side this will become a minus b whole squared minus 9 is equal to 0. Next a minus b whole squared this 9 is same as 3 squared is equal to 0. By using this algebraic identity m squared minus 
n squared is equal to m plus n times m minus n this will become a minus b plus 3 times a minus b minus 3 is equal to 0. Now from here either this expression a minus b plus 3 is equal to 0 or this expression a minus b minus 3 is equal to 0. Move this 3 to the right hand side this will become a minus b is equal to negative 3. From this equation we move this negative 3 to the right hand side this will become a minus b is equal to positive 3. Let's call this equation equation number 3 and this equation equation number 4 and we recall equation number 1. Equation 1 is a plus b is equal to 5. Equation 1 is a plus b is equal to 5. Equation 1 is a plus b is equal to 5. First we add these two equations this negative b will be cancelled out with this positive b and a plus a will become 2 times a is equal to negative 3 plus 5 will become 2 and if we divide both sides by 2 this implies that a is equal to 1. Now we add these two equations this negative b will be cancelled out with this positive b and a plus a will become 2a is equal to 3 plus 5 will become 8 and if we divide both sides by 2 this implies that a is equal to 4. So we have two values for a 1 and 4. To find the values of b we use this equation number 1 a plus b is equal to 5. We have equation number 1 a plus b is equal to 5. When a is 1 then this will become 1 plus b is equal to 5. Move this 1 to the right hand side this will become b is equal to 5 minus 1 and b is equal to 4. So when a is 1 then b will be 4. Now when a is 4 then this will become 4 plus b is equal to 5. Move this 4 to the right hand side this will become b is equal to 5 minus 4 and this implies that b is equal to 1. So when a is 4 then b is 1. Now recall that we have supposed Suppose that a is equal to 1 over x and b is equal to 1 over y. We have supposed that uh, 1 over x is equal to a and uh, 1 over y is equal to b. So when a is 1 then this will become 1 over x is equal to 1. When b is 4 this will become 1 over y is equal to 4. 1 over x is equal to 1 implies that uh, x is equal to 1. And uh, this implies that uh, y is equal to 1 over 4. So from here we get uh, first pair of solutions uh, x comma y is equal to the first pair is uh, 1 comma 1 over 4. Now when a is 4 this will become 1 over x is equal to 4 and b is 1 this will become 1 over 
y is equal to 1. 1 over x is equal to 4. This implies that uh, x is equal to 1 over 4. And this implies that uh, y is equal to 1. So from here we get the second pair 1 over 4 comma 1. This is the final answer of uh, this problem.